If you're anything like me, you spent a lot of your time bouncing between different social media platforms, posting your content, trying to kind of curate it for whatever platform you're on. Now you're probably looking for a social media platform that's pretty affordable, not too expensive, that's gonna help streamline everything, make your life easier and faster. That's what I've been looking for for the last year. I tried something called Hootsuite when I was in college and it was a great social media planner but it is very expensive. And if you're like me, you don't have a ton of money to spend on something like this. So I've been searching and this is actually the best option that I found. I actually like it better than something like Hootsuite, which is a higher paid option. Um, and this is actually a free option for every one brand that you manage. So by example here, we have one brand, which is Mitchell K. This is my Instagram, my YouTube channel, my TikTok. Um, and then if we switch over, we've got the bike shop that I manage. So if you do more than one brand, it does cost money, but for the first brand that you do, which includes the different platforms of that brand, it's gonna be free. Now the functionality on this thing is crazy. Again, I do have the paid version. I have the smallest paid package. I think it's like 10 bucks a month. Um, and that's just because I, I manage multiple social media accounts for different brands. Now I've been using it for about a month now and I don't wanna lie, it hasn't completely taken over all of my posting, it hasn't completely automated everything because contextually, sometimes I still wanna go in and do it manually so that I can get the little things done that maybe an automated planner can't. But as you can see here, I posted a ton of content through here to Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. This is on my personal brand and I actually really like it. The actual planning feature can get a little bit tricky. Everything is completely automated except for TikTok. That's the one platform that it hasn't completely automated yet. And the way that it works with TikTok is you download the app on your phone and basically it'll send you a notification saying, hey, um, click this button and we'll download the video and we'll copy your hashtags in your description. And then basically you open TikTok and do the rest from there. But everything else is 100% automatic through this app, which I think is super cool. It does save me a lot of time. Now, if we flip over to the bike shop here, one of my favorite ways to use this is just to automate photo posts between LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. It really does make that process a lot easier. And as you can see here, I kind of lump in the Instagram, LinkedIn, and then Facebook posts into one kind of planned out post. And then I'll duplicate it and change up the amount of characters for Twitter because obviously Twitter has the character limits. So it does allow you to kind of pre-plan your posts and then duplicate it so that you can make those changes for Twitter or TikTok, which have those smaller kind of character limits. And that's what you see in my personal profile here. Um, I have separate posts technically made for TikTok and Instagram and Facebook. And that's just because originally I'm making the post in Instagram and Facebook, I'm planning it for that. But then obviously you have to have a smaller text or smaller copy for TikTok. So I just make a copy and change up the text, which is really cool because with these social media planners, when you're automating things, you want it to be as contextual as possible. You don't want it to feel like it's coming from a social media planner. And that's one thing that I really like about Metrical is it allows you to be contextual like that and pretty quickly, pretty easily. Now, once again, posting on here is incredibly simple. I'm gonna kind of just walk through and show you how fast it is. So let's say that I wanna make a new post here. I'm just gonna drag this video in and I wanna post it to Instagram, uh, TikTok, and Facebook. So I'm gonna paste my text here, basically the copy that I want. And then I've got it selected up here for a Facebook post and an Instagram reel. So I actually wanna change that to a Facebook reel. That way, hopefully we can get some views on Facebook. Now I don't immediately wanna do this for TikTok and I'll show you why. But first what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna hit publish now. I'm gonna just hit save. And just like that, it's ready to be posted to Instagram and Facebook. And I'm just gonna come in here and now get it ready for TikTok. So I'm just gonna hit duplicate. We duplicated it. Now, all we gotta do is we gotta go up top and instead of posting to Facebook and Instagram, we're just gonna click on TikTok. So now obviously you see that there's a character limit. So I'm just gonna go in and make some basic changes to the characters. Okay, so I've got my little copy here made for TikTok. I'm just gonna go ahead and change the time here from publish now to we'll publish it in, let's go like an hour. So what it's saying here is basically what I've explained to you. Now, the one problem that I've seen with Metrical that I don't love is that TikTok is not 100% automated. So what you've got to do if you're posting for TikTok is you've got to schedule it like this, and then it's going to, again, send it to your phone app, and then it's going to auto download the video for you. When you click on the notification, it's going to auto copy your caption, and then you've just got to open the app and basically click on the video and paste your caption yourself. It's still a lot easier than bouncing between apps and doing it all yourself. It, it, it automates most of it, but it's not 100% automated, which is my one kind of complaint with Metrical, but I think that's more of a TikTok sided issue. Now, even though the social media planning and automation is the reason that I got this app, 
I want to say it's not even my favorite feature anymore. My favorite feature is the analytics that this app gives you on all of your different social media platforms. Now, one thing that I love is it's going to take all of the information from all of your different social media dashboards, Instagram, Facebook, you name it, and it's going to put it into one place so that you can kind of see how your brand as a total or as a whole is growing. So instead of having to try and piece it together in your mind, like, okay, Facebook's up this month, but Instagram is not, you can just look at it and immediately see what's going up and what's not. So by example, here's the social media for the bike shop that I manage, and it kind of shows you over time how your social media is growing, how it's changing. So we've got Instagram here in pink, which is my biggest growth factor. And then under that, we've got YouTube in red, which is also growing a little bit quicker. And then I haven't had much success with uh, Twitter and Facebook's been pretty slow too. The one thing again is that it doesn't completely show your TikTok data or your LinkedIn data. And that's just because those platforms don't have that kind of backend data that they can give to this app. But one thing I do love is if you get the paid version like I have, even if it's just the cheapest paid version, they've got something called a social media report. Now, if you're a social media manager like I am, this is going to be something awesome that you can give to your company, to your boss, whoever you're working for, which is going to give them a lot of insights to who their customers really are, who they can advertise to, all that kind of data. So with this report, you'll get demographic data on all of your different social media platforms, um, what the ages are and the genders of the people that follow you. And it does this for multiple platforms so you can kind of start to paint a picture of who your customers really are. And if we scroll down, it'll even show you the cities and the countries that these people are from, which again, it's gonna be super sick when you're trying to tell your boss or you're trying to tell the person that you work for, like, hey, here's the data that we've collected with social media. This makes it easy. You just print out this report and give it to them. So the analytics and the planning are the two features that I love the most in Metricool, but there are a couple things that I haven't really played around with that it does have to offer that are also pretty cool. So you can have your ads on Metrical. You can do all of your ads in one place, which is pretty cool. You have your inbox up here, uh, which is gonna give you access to all of the DMs you get on Facebook, Instagram, whatever, in one place. Um, I haven't played around too much with smart links. Um, I think I will get to that point and then I'll let you guys know a little bit about it, but that kind of shows you what it is. Um, and then one thing that I really do love because I'm a competitive person when I'm trying to grow on my different social media platforms, I always have the person that's ahead of me in my industry that I'm looking at the people that I care about. They have something called competitors. And I think this might be with the paid version again. Um, but you can kind of see, you know, who are my competitors? What, what kind of views are they getting? Oh, this guy's in my niche. I'm in my niche. Okay. What, what kind of subscription numbers do we have? And for me, I like having that option because I am a competitive person. It forces me to go harder when um, I see that somebody's right on my ass or I'm right next to somebody. So that's just another cool little feature that they have in here. And as you can see up here, um, it is really easy to just flip between the brands. It shows you for those brands, which accounts are connected. It's super easy to connect those accounts too. Yeah, man, I really like Metricool. It's, it's really not something that's gonna like completely blow your mind. It does basically everything that you do, but a little bit more efficiently. So instead of having to look at metrics and kind of pull it together yourself, or instead of having to go between these different apps on your phone, you can kind of come to one place and just do everything a little bit more efficiently. It's not really reinventing the wheel. It's just making it kind of more efficient, if that makes sense. Now, I'm just gonna throw this out here. Really don't feel any kind of obligation. I do use Metricool myself. They do have an affiliate link for anybody that gets it. That includes you if you decide to get Metricool. If you guys end up wanting to get the paid version like me because you're a social media manager, if you guys wouldn't mind using my affiliate link, it does help me to get paid, basically make my membership free. Um, but yeah, this is something that I actually use. This is not just some sort of brand deal or something. I'm not getting paid anything by Metricool right now, as you can see. This is what I use and it has helped me. So I recommend you guys give it a try, even if it's just the free version, man. The free version has a lot of functionality. It's gonna save you a lot of time. With that said, my name is Mitchell. God bless you guys. Thank you, man.